Alright folks, we're working on a Case 1818 skid steer and the project we're going to be doing on it is replacing the two cylinder Onan engine uh, that's just old and worn out and it's getting hard to find parts for and so we are going to uh, repower it with a Harbor Freight Predator motor after the coupons that they had, it was $650 out the door. Uh, I didn't do an unboxing video because uh, you guys don't need to see an engine come out of the box. But this is the engine that we're going to be putting in. We're going to have to modify a couple things. Uh, we're going to test fire it here on the bench and make sure that everything's all right. Uh, we already put oil in it, uh, obviously AMS oil, and then we will be, uh, after we know that the engine works well, we'll be starting to modify it. It's going to be too wide with the control box on the side, so we had to remove it. And hopefully that's all we have to modify to fit it in, but I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of other stuff. Uh, but stay tuned, and we'll try and film as much of this project as we can. Thanks for watching. First startup of the Predator motor. Alright folks, just a quick update here. Working on this case skid steer. And we got the uh, the motor out, that old Onan. And so you can see what we've got here. We've got a couple things we need to do. Um, need to replace this leaking fuel line. And then these are the, uh, the, dr the pumps for the drive motors. And you can see where it's uh, where it's leaking down pretty well on both of them and so we're going to go ahead and replace the seals in those pumps too uh the imp or i'm sorry the uh, yeah the input shaft seals uh, and just clean up all of this uh crap that's underneath the motor here and get the engine bay cleaned up and i'll show you the old the uh owning motor we took out of it you can see there's not much to them They're pretty small it's a little flat too uh and they're not bad motors honestly but uh they're getting really really hard to find parts for and uh, you can see what happened here on this one. This is the second starter we've had in this recently, and it actually, uh, it actually broke. So I'm gonna get it to turn here. You can see there's pieces of the starter floating around in there, and it's a bad design because it the starter flexes and then it breaks and does that, and then you're stranded. Uh, 
But anyway, so old motor's out. I'm gonna get this uh, this PTO pulley off and see if it'll fit on the new one or if we had to order a pulley. So what we're doing here, folks, is uh, we welded shut four holes on this and we ground down this little lip that was in the center. Uh, so now it's flat and then we're gonna get a straight edge and try and true it up as much as we can. Uh, and then we have to convert that to a three bolt flange. It looks something like this. Okay, so this three bolt flange basically has to go here and then we had to get it perfectly centered on there, which will be a little bit of a trick. And then we had to drill three new holes all the way through this. And this is actually pretty thick. Uh, so it has to go from here down into about here is where the bull head is on the inside. Uh, so it's gonna be a little bit of a trick, but it should be a fun project. And then this pulley then will bolt straight up to the motor, uh, the Predator motor. Uh, so I'll keep you updated here and let you know how it goes.